Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at how to find the area of a rectangle. Well, the area formula is fairly basic. It's area equals base times height. So in this figure, we have a rectangle where the opposite sides are congruent. So we have the top and bottom that are 10 and the left and the right that are both 8. So we're just going to plug in the base times the height. So we're going to plug in 10 times 8 and get an area of 80 square units. So 80 is the answer to that one. Okay, but what happens if you have to work backwards and you're given an area and the height and you don't know what the base is? Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to write down your formula. Area equals B times H. And you're going to plug in what you do know. Well, we know the area is 100, so let's put 100 here. And let's put our height as 5 and our unknown is B. Okay, so we end up with 100 is equal to B times 5. Now to solve for this, we just divide both sides by 5, and we get B is 20. So the base would be 20 units long. Okay, so there's our first example of a forward and a backward problem. Now let's look at an example of a rectangle where you're given the diagonal and one side, and you need to find the area. So remember, the area formula is base times height. We know the height, but we don't know the base. So we need to solve for the base, given that we have the diagonal. So let's plug in what we know so far. We don't know the base, so let's leave that blank, and let's plug in 9 for the height. Now, if you'll notice, we have a right triangle in a rectangle. So here's our right triangle. We've got this side, which is 15, which is our hypotenuse. We call that C in the Pythagorean theorem. We have the length 9 over here, which let's designate that as A, and then this is B. So our, our Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and we've got two of the sides, so we can solve for the third. So let's plug in A is 9, B is our unknown, so we're going to leave B squared in there, and then C is 15, so let's take 15 squared. So 81 plus B squared equals 15 squared is 225. So subtract 81 from both sides, and we end up with B squared equals 144. So B must be the square root of 144, which is 12. Okay, so B is 12. So let's go back up here and label both our sides 12. Now we can plug in to our area formula. We now have our height of 9, and we now have our base of 12. So 12 times 9 is 108. So 12 times 9 is 108, and that would be units squared. And that is how you find the area of a rectangle given one side and the diagonal. Hope this video was helpful.